um, this is a very late birthday book haul. Um, anytime I'm lucky enough to get birthday money, I pretty much every year spend it completely on books that I've been wanting to get for ages because I don't buy books terribly often from like Amazon and whatnot. So this is my TBR shelf and the overflow. I'm just going to pull off the ones I got so I can show you guys. Um, they're not any particular order, just the order that they're on the shelf. So I got Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero because this is a Scooby-Doo retelling apparently and therefore I must have it. Um, and I haven't read any of these yet. Um, Scooby Apocalypse Volume 2 by Keith Giffen. I read Volume 1 from the library to see if it was acceptable and it's unique but it's okay and I do like it. So I went ahead and bought volume two and I wanna buy volume one, but since I'd already read it, I went ahead and bought this one. Um, we had the same issue with our Ninja Turtles collection. Yeah. Uh, Tempt the Stars by Karen Chance. This is the next Cassie Palmer book I need to read. I need to buy all the ones I've already read, but this is the next one I needed to read, so that's the one I got. You'll see that theme a lot on this shelf. Well, maybe not a lot, well. Well, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, but I love the series, so. And pretty much the same thing with this one. This is Tricked by Kevin Hearn. This is the next book I need to read in Iron Druid Chronicles. And at some point, I need to buy the ones I've already read so they can live on my bookshelf. These are amazing, and if you like Dresden Files and you haven't read these, read these. Um, then I got Hagseed by Margaret Atwood. This is supposed to be a Tempest retelling, so of course I had to have it. Um, Anansi Boys by Neil Gaiman. This is the second in the American Gods duology. I read the first one. It's really good. I need to get a copy of it too, but I haven't read this one yet, so I grabbed it. And it's sitting like this because every time I put it on the shelf properly, it wouldn't stay. Oh, hello. Okay, then I got The Legends of River Song by somebody. It doesn't say... Oh, it's by different people. Okay. Um, it's a Doctor Who book. I've been wanting to read this for ages. And when Mom saw it came in, she's like, Ooh, I want to read that. My mom doesn't read a whole lot, so I'll probably be loaning it to her after I finish it. Um, Hope in a Jar by Kathy Peace. Peace? Um, which is like a nonfiction about, it says, The Making of America's Beauty Culture. I guess somebody has a textbook because there's writing in it, but it's not that bad. Um, another Doctor Who won The Legends of Ashelder. Um, River Song is one of my favorite Doctor Who characters. Um, it's that book. I've been wanting to read this book since before it came out, and I saw it on Instagram. And then this one, I really like her the, one t the couple times I've seen her in Doctor Who. So I really wanted to read this too. Um, I got... Letters to Sarah by Annie Wag Wagner. Uh, this is actually somebody I went to college with, and she wrote a book. So this is one of the few that I got brand new because I wanted to support her. And I like to do that too. If there's like a YouTuber I follow or something, or a friend of mine that has a book, I try to get them brand new so that I can help support them and stuff in their writing. So then I got Laid, Young People's Experiences with Sex in an Easy Access Culture. Edited by Shannon T. Boudrum, who is a YouTuber I follow. Um, I got Adam Runs Everything, forward by Adam Conover. I do watch these on YouTube, and I did get this as a new copy, but considering that it's like a show run through this TV station, I didn't figure it would go to support the show or whatever, but it was cheapest to get it brand new because it's such a new release, so... I was kind of like an in-between type thing. Uh, this is Doing It, Let's Talk About Sex by Hannah Witten. Um, this is another YouTuber I follow. I follow all kinds of YouTubers, mostly like makeup and book ones, but I follow a few others as well. And then Nothing Happened by Molly Booth, which is a Much Ado About Nothing retelling. So I had to have it because Much Ado is one of my absolute favorite Shakespeare's. Like Hamlet is my favorite, but then you got Midsummer, Much Do, so of course I had to have this. Um, 
and then Perfection by Murphy Napier, who is another YouTuber that I follow. I was trying to get a lot of those because since I buy them brand new, um, they're more expensive. That way, when I have like five bucks, I can get a used copy of something else that I'm really wanting to own. And then there's one more book, and it's not over here. It's over here. Don't don't follow me. The house is a mess. No, I'm not. I'm just shifting so you can get by. Um, I got Circe by Madeline Miller, mm. which is supposed to be a retelling of Odyssey. Yeah, that's sister the backstory from the Odyssey. So far, yeah. Alex and I are reading it together, and we've read the first five chapters so far, and it's really good. Um, it's very sad. Yeah. Alex is dyslexic and has ADHD, so it's hard for him to concentrate and pay attention to sit down and read a book. So he likes audiobooks, but this was one that we both wanted to read, and he had recently said that he likes hearing me read books like To River or whatever. Um, because if I'm sitting there trying to read a book and she's supposed to be playing and she gets wants attention and starts poking at my book, I'll just start reading it out loud to her and she seems to like it. Uh, so I suggested that we read this together by me reading it out loud to him, and that's working really well, I think. I didn't know you did that with the river. That's really cool. You've seen me do it. Maybe once or twice, but I didn't realize you made it a regular thing. That's... I don't do it all the time, but I do yeah. sometimes. Yeah, that's wonderful. But it seems to be working really well, and we're both really enjoying this book. He, uh, We usually do like one chapter a night or so, and he's like, wait, that's the end of the chapter? <laughs> Yeah, my voice is giving out. It's like, oh. Yeah, my voice can't handle more than about a chapter. Otherwise, we'd probably be through this. I keep trying to give her tea, and she keeps declining. But it's really <laughs> good. Um, so far, I would recommend it. So that's everything. All the books that I got with my birthday money this year. Um, if you liked this video, let me know so that I can do one next year. Um comments opinions questions about any of the books leave in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye